In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic leaderboard here in Google Sheets. So we have our scoreboards right here where all of the scores are being updated. And on our leaderboard, all of those scores are gathered and sorted in descending order to determine the top scores and the winners. So if you do make changes right here, let's say this team has scored a total of six points then that will be automatically updated on our leaderboard right here. Let's say this team scored 11 points. And there you have it. Again, our leaderboard will be updated showing us all the teams with the top scores. So let me show you how to do this. Let's go to our sample sheet right here. So the first thing that we're going to do would be our headers. Let's start with our scoreboard. So that's going to be team right here then your score then we're just going to format it align it to the center we're going to put them in bold change the fill color to black and the text color to white we're also going to change our font style to this one right here there we have it now let's proceed to the left side of our scoreboard now for this one it can be anything you want what I've done here would be the number of rounds that these teams have played. It can also be the area number where the games are being held. So for each round, I have three teams. So I'm just going to be formatting four cells right here. So go ahead and select that. Now, depending on how many teams you have for each round or for each area, you will have to add more cells. So for now, I'm just going to format four cells right here. I'm going to align it to the center and then in the middle, change the fill color to this green color right here. Merge that cell, put the text in bold, then increase the font size to 40. So if we put in our number, there we have it. Now I'm just going to resize this column right here, make it a bit smaller. There we have it. All I have to do now is to copy this same format. Copy, press Ctrl C or Command C on your keyboard. Then select the space where you want to paste it. I'm leaving two spaces in between. Paste it. There we have it. Another two spaces there and paste it again. Now I'm just going to edit the number. Put in number two for this one. And number three for this one. And now we have our scoreboards for each of the round that we have for the three teams that are going to be participating. Now for our leaderboard, we're going to be copying the same headers right here. So that's again, control C or command C. Then select the space where you want to insert your header. There you have it. Now we're going to format again the left side where we're going to be putting our text leaderboard. So for this one, I've only selected 10 cells, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because I have nine teams in total. Then again, I'm going to align it to the center, then in the middle, put my text in bold, change the fill color to a darker green, then change the font style to this one. So let me just type in my text in all caps, leader, board press enter there you have it now what i'm going to do is to again merge all these cells together and then i'm going to have my text stacked vertically by going to text rotation right here and selecting stack vertically and there you have it i'm just going to resize my column there we go maybe increase the size a little and put our text into white. So I've completed all the formatting that I'm going to be doing for my scoreboards and my leaderboard. Now the final step would be to just enter the scores. I'm just going to copy the scores from the previous sheet. And there we have it. For the leaderboard, what we're going to do is to create an inline array gathering all of our data on this board right here. So we're gonna do that with an array Start with your equal sign, then your curly brackets, then select your range right here, the first range that we want to put in our leaderboard, semicolon, the next range, semicolon, and the last range. 
close it with your curly brackets and press enter. There we have it. We've gathered all of our scores right here, but it's not yet sorted. So we're going to add the sort function onto our formula. Let's add it at the beginning. So type in sort. There we go. So that's our range. Next one would be our sort column, which is column number two, comma, and the zero for the descending order. Close up our formula, press enter, and there we have it. We've sorted a range to go in descending order, so we have all our leading scores at the top. Our final step would be to just color code our cells, the top cell being our winner. So let's color that into something similar to gold. Next one, our second place, maybe a silver, and our last one would be a bronze. So again, if we make any changes on our scoreboards, it will be automatically reflected and sorted on our leaderboard. If we change this one right here, and there you have it. So that's how to create a dynamic leaderboard here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.